Well, the menu on the dinner table would not be complete this holiday season without some traditional fruit cake, carrot cake, or even a rum cake. Well, this year, Annis Aubrey has stepped up her game of making a variety of cakes by introducing a homemade chocolate gingerbread cake for even those who are unable to afford it this Yuletide season. When we got into the kitchen of Anna's Albury in Treasure Cove, we immediately sprung into action to bake the chocolate gingerbread cake for the holidays. Anna's gave us a little taste of just how to make what she calls the newest cake on the menu for the holiday. But we want to remind you, though, it's her own recipe, so you won't find it anywhere else. It's served with a toffee sauce and a dollop of homemade whipped cream. It's a demonstration I showed you in there. It has all of the spices to make it taste like a gingerbread and then the cocoa to make it taste like a chocolate cake. So it's a combination of the chocolate and gingerbread and it's nice and moist. And the toffee sauce is served over the top with a dollop of homemade whipped cream. Eggs, some, a little rum, a little brandy, molasses, spices, all of the different spices for gingerbread, flour, sugar, and um, vanilla, I think. And I bake it in my oven at 325. I bake it slowly like that because it makes the cake, it doesn't brown too quick in the bun pan and it makes it nice and moist. So I just bake it, it bakes for about an hour and 15 minutes and it's fine. So once I turn it out, then I let it cool for about five, 10 minutes. Then I spoon the toffee sauce over it so that it can soak through the cake. But while the chocolate gingerbread cake is the latest in her lineup, Anna says rum cake, carrot cake and fruit cakes continue to be the most popular around this time. And to spice things up a bit, she added something even more delicious for her frequent customers. I've introduced some Christmas cookies two years ago, and some rum balls, some eggnog balls, and this year I'm introducing something called a popcorn peanut caramel ball, and it's cooked. Everything I do is from scratch, everything. So I'm doing a popcorn caramel peanut ball. I didn't do that last year. And um, it's just a, you cook it down with your caramel sauce, you put in your peanuts and whatever, and you make a ball. And it's a treat. I put them in treat tins. I have something set up here today. The retired banker says she gets so much joy when her customers are happy about the products she continues to make no matter the occasion. However, she says the materials to fulfill orders can cost quite a hefty penny. I like perfection, especially if you want to do something, because I would always say I'm not going to sell anybody anything to eat that I'm not going to eat myself. And I've noticed this year, maybe because of the environment, supplies have gone up tremendously. So it's expensive, especially this year, it's really expensive. So, but that's it. When you have a passion for something, it, you know, that's what happens to you. I don't really mind. I get what I get and do what I have to do. And if you fall short on funds to purchase a cake of your choice this Yuletide season, Anna says she plans to put a big smile on your face by doing this kind gesture. If you are having a hard time and you need something, I won't have a problem giving you a sample of something that you have so that you can have Christmas cheer. Meantime, Anna says she plans to create a recipe book of her cakes sometime in the new year.